Ben here with the Van Life Biker Show. Smash that like, give me a sub, and share, guys. Let's build this channel. Appreciate your support. Yo, yo, yo. It's Ben here with the Van Life Biker Show. What's going on, guys? I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I uh, just came up with an idea the other day, and uh, it's for making a shower curtain rod. And I think it's a really great idea. It took me probably a year to come up with something. Um, I wanted something that I could take down. Those of you who have uh, seen the shower pan set up that I have, it's hidden, which, you know, I didn't want to build a per se bathroom like what you see from the manufacturers of these van builds. And a lot of people build them by hand because they get the ideas from that. But uh, this in particular, I just, this uh, in particular build, I just, you know, I don't see the sense in having, let's say, you know, three, four feet long by, you know, two feet or so wide. It just takes up a lot of room in the van. I mean, let's face it, guys, we're I'm building a house in 60 square feet. Uh, I think it's actually a tad bit less, but, uh, you know, it's just, in, you have to think outside the box. So I think personally, I have one of the best designs to date. I have not seen anyone take a mid-size van and uh, have everything that I have inside that thing. And it's really a great layout. I mean, I'm not patting myself on the shoulder by, by no means, but I haven't seen anyone else come up with it. And it you know anybody can do this i'm not putting myself on a pedestal here it took me a good solid six months of design of thought and process of you know uh you know making different plans and just tossing them in the trash because it just didn't work so you know the the bathroom was just out of the question i mean i wanted one but i did not want it to take up to, you know almost a quarter of the van it's just insanity to me how are you going to build a house in 60 square feet when, you know, let's say 15, 20% of the van is bathroom? And how often do you use the bathroom? I mean, every couple few hours. And, you know, if you're a guy, you know, you can pretty much go anywhere, of course. But, uh, you know, we do want one for the ladies for sure. So, and then, you know, you got to do number two. Uh, you definitely want to probably hit a fast food restaurant or something, it's a public restroom if you, you can. But, you know, those times are going to come. So definitely wanted a toilet um, and I wanted a place to shower. A lot of people just take a, a pot of uh, water and throw it on the stove, warm it up a little bit and just take a little sponge bath. I mean, technically that's all you need. But, uh, you know, I wanted a fully sustainable van. So with uh, hiding everything those of you ha who have seen the shower pan position unless you're uh, new to the channel you uh, might want to go back a few videos and kind of research that I've shown it several times it's located underneath the bed platform where you just lift up a hatch and then you can step down inside the shower pan and you can stand up and take a shower you're finished you'll just hop up out of there close the hatch and never to be seen but the issue was the shower uh, curtain rod. I just didn't know how I was going to do that. Normally they're round and, you know, I could bend a piece of pipe and put some couplings. And that was kind of my original thought. But, you know, what's going to hold that shirt and curtain rod up? So I would have to have some kind of hooks or clamps or something to hang it from the ceiling. And then somebody could hit their head on it. So it just wasn't working for me every time I thought about something how am I going to make this work so that's why you're uh, here to see this video I came up with a pretty good idea this is inch and a half uh, aluminum I just picked it up at the big blue box store and I picked up some inch and a half hinges just typical standard hinges that you can fold these puppies out and I bought a trickle charger the other day for a vehicle and the Harley and actually I had one and needed two but my old truck I just don't drive it often enough and it just sits in the yard and every time I need to uh, 
get the uh, truck started. I, it always seems like I need to charge the battery. So I went and bought a trickle charger, long story short, and these old directions were in there. And I said, you know, this will be a good way to show how I'm going to do this. So let's just pretend the instructions here are the aluminum flat uh, piece of metal I've got here. So if we can visualize this being the width of the shower pan, so this would be the two feet, and this here, these folds, hence why we got the hinge. So these hinges will make the metal fold. And uh, so we'll have a hinge here. We'll have a hinge there, hinge there. And we could keep going, guys. We could, you know, put as much flat iron or flat aluminum in there as we want. So I need to come out three feet. So I'm probably going to have to have, you know, as many hinges as we need mathematically to, to allow this to fold out. So this longer piece is the width, like I said. And we'll have another longer piece in the front, but the paper wasn't long enough. So we'll actually have one here on the end and over there on that end. So this will be up inside the cabinet and the cabinet door will fold up to the ceiling. And this will be mounted in the top of the cabinet. So this uh, bed here is why I did it here. So we'll just visualize this mounted up here. And then we'll just be able to reach in here and pull this straight out, guys. See how that'll bend just straight out? And like I said, we'll have another full-length piece mounted here in the cabinet, the same as this. And this side will fold out. This is not a bend here. This is all flat. Of course, it's paper. So this will work basically like this with, you know, this and this being straight. And, uh, you know, you're going to have that issues with hinges, of course. But if you take this guy here and you squeeze this hinge here with a pair of pliers, uh, you know, something with some longer grip so you can get a, bit, a little bit of leverage on it. Or you could even take a hammer, set this on, uh, you know, a wood block or a piece of concrete or something. And if you hit this this area here a few times that's going to tighten this thing up and make it a little bit more difficult to bend I mean you'll be able to grab it and pull it out it'll be a little tough to uh, get the hinge to move but that's what you'll want and uh, you know when we bend this this straight it'll stay straight otherwise it's probably going to be a little loopy so uh, that's kind of the plan and <clears throat> excuse me when we're all finished we let the shower curtain dry and then we can just shove this back up into the cabinet like so and out of sight out of mind guys look at that and this will be mounted like I say towards the top of the cabinet and the curtain will be hanging down so we can pick up the shower curtain stuff it in the cabinet when it's all said and done so I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys are kind of struggling with the way you're going to do the shower curtain, this is what I came up with um, to just make it disappear. I mean, who wants a big bathroom, you know, in inside the van that's just going to take up a lot of space? And you're, you know, how long are you going to be in there? Five, ten minutes to... Uh, wash up especially if you're off grid you know it's not like you could go in there and take a nice half an hour long shower and just empty your fresh water tank so if you're in a park of course you can but uh at the end of the day five ten minute wash 30 minute wash i mean even you know old teenagers only take maybe an hour long wash if uh they're in there so still so there's still 23 hours out of a day guys and who wants that in the middle of the van or on the side of the van in your build essentially just taking up a lot of useless room so this is why i wanted mine hidden uh during the day when i'm up and about you know you could always just kind of put the uh, cots in the seating position flipped up the hatch and you can always jump down in there to use the bathroom but the cabinet can be closed up, shower curtains out of the way, you know, 
couple hours into the morning once you get uh, rinsed off and let the curtain drip dry a little bit you can shove that up in the cabinet and make it all go, go all go away it's just it's going to look a, a lot cleaner so that's my plan um you know there's a million different ways of doing it of course but i try to think outside the box and that's what i came up with it took me the longest time to try to come up with an idea to make this work so i could just shove it all in the cabinet and make it go away like i say i could bend a piece of pipe and hang down some hooks and then i'd have to have couplings to kind of piece the pipes together and be able to take them back apart and you're still going to have hooks hanging down from the ceiling somebody could hit their heads on or you know that type of thing which you know just causes a safety issue so i just wanted something sleek clean and just fold it up make it all go away it's going to take 15 20 minutes to jump in and out the shower get cleaned up and you know 10 15 minutes for the shower curtain to drip dry you could even wipe it with a towel real quick and just throw it in the cabinet close it up close the hatch down below and it all goes away somebody walks in to visit oh you don't have a shower you don't have a bathroom and it's like yeah yeah i do and you just you know open up a hatch and jump down into the bathroom and if you want to take a shower you lift up the cabinet door and drop the shower curtain down so real simple stuff just real quick you know virtually takes a minute or two to just kind of drop the shower curtain a minute to lift the hatch and jump in there to jump uh, to use the toilet so two very unique ideas and i think we've kind of hit a home run on both but once again, it took a lot of thought and a lot of design. And you guys are more than welcome to use all my ideas, hence why I'm documenting it. But it's good to, you know, think out the box. Maybe you'll come up with a better idea and maybe I'll see your idea someday. But uh, I don't know. I, I, everything in my van, for the most part, is fairly unique. Hence why I totally have a fully sustainable house on wheels and 60 square feet including washer dryer uh, fridge freezer combination and a, an, an additional chest freezer so i mean i really have the convenience of home there's nothing at all that i do not have so on that note we're just gonna head on out we'll see you guys on the next time um pray for germany where they just had a big flood over there looks like there's about a thousand people missing uh doesn't seem to be big news over here in the states unfortunately but uh you know that's why i'm putting it out there so uh you know pray for all of us the world's just kind of in a mess and we all know that so stay positive and on that note this is van with the van life biker show and we'll see you on the next one thanks for the support guys Peace.